Is there ever a time when one of you lot isn't in court? OK. Too soon, sorry. <laughs> so what is with the suit? I'm eating about these permits, aren't I? If I want the permits, I've got to impress the man. Right, the new empire. Yeah. Listen, you wouldn't have an old truck you might want to sell on, would you? Actually, there is one that's almost past its sell-by date. Maybe we can work something out. Oh, brilliant. It's just we've got a scrapyard, but nothing to get the scrap there in, so until we do, we're just sat twiddling our thumbs in that port cabin. Well, at least it's warm. Oh, yeah, no. It's got all the mod cons. Light, heat, a kettle, air. Big, is it? It's big enough, why? Just a thought. Maybe we can uh, do each other a favour. There you are. Aaron, not with you. No, up at the council, sorting out all the paperwork. Why? Yeah, I think you might have a slightly bigger problem. I just had Eric chewing me ear off. Who's he one? Oh, do you know? He wants to throw you a little moving in party right before he gets the council to chuck you out on the street. He's like a flaming dog with a bone, that guy. You do know he's got all his old cronies up there, don't you? They're like a little flipping geriatric mafia. And he is Al Capone. Charge man done anything wrong. So? Look, if you want him off your back, it's gonna cost you. I thought you were at the scrapyard today. Yeah, I was. Oh, no. What's happened? Uh, Eric happened. Threatening to go to the council to shut us down. Well, what are you gonna do? I don't know. Bunging something to shut him up. A few grand tops. Ah. Oh, you thought I could give it to you? No, not give. I was thinking you could buy my mistake in this place. You've not even opened the gates yet. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and we've already got the truck, we've got the premises, we're getting the permits. I mean, we've got suppliers lined up. We've got a yard in Newcastle ready to shift as much stuff as we want abroad, Mum. I've really got a shot of something this time. Something of my own. And the farm isn't? No. Not anymore, it's yours and James's. But you are part of that. And I will always be here to help out. But you've always given me everything. This is a chance for me to do something for myself. Andy, it's mad you're still showing rent out for that place. Well, there's no point in moving the last of my things to yours if we're about to get the farm. Yeah, if we get the farm. You don't think she'll go back on the sale, do you? Well, she will if he's got anything to do with it. How much longer are you going to string them along? You've changed your tune. Just sick of the sight of them, that's all. You want to stare lovingly at me instead? Ah, oh, beats having her look over my shoulder every five seconds. Well, who knows what she might see? Huh? Better to be groveled too. Hiya. Look, I know that I'm probably the last person you want to talk to right now. I wouldn't say that. I don't even want to look at you. We haven't come to cause any more, I grow. Oh, I doubt you could. I owe you a massive apology. Not just me. What can I say? I got it wrong. So you're going to drop this whole vendetta? We both just want to get on with our lives. Well, it suits me. Look, we've got a survey done on the farm. Just a couple of things that we need to run past you. Well, I hope you're not planning on knocking us down. No, 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 we just want to dot over a few eyes, that's all. Fine. You drop around later, we can go through it then. If you're sure, that's great. Thanks. We appreciate it. Later then. What's all that about? I told you, you've got enough on your plate with Lachlan without Psycho Barbie stressing you out. And that's all it is, is it? 